Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to make a fire simulation using the NeoPixels LED ring and Arduino. This project is brought to you by PCBWay. What I really like about them is that you can get 10 professional made boards for around $5, which is really amazing for professionally made boards. On their website just click on the get instant quote and you will see how much the PCB will cost. They also offer other services like PCB assembly, 3D printing, CNC machining. The link will be in the description, so go and check them out. For this project you will need a NeoPixels LED ring, some jumper wires, Arduino board and Visuino program. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to website and download and install Visuino program. Start with Uno and select the board. In our case, it is Arduino Uno. Add NeoPixels component. Double click on the NeoPixels one and in the pixel groups drag color pixel to the left side and in the properties window set count pixels to 16 or the number of LEDs on your LED ring. Close the pixel groups window and add random clock generator component. We want to be the frequency of the changing color between 10 Hz to 20 Hz. So go to the properties window and set mean frequency to 10 and max frequency to 20. Add clock multi source component. Add random color component. Since we are going to simulate a fire, we need some colors that are between orange and red. So go to the properties window and set min to orange color and max to red color. Add random integer generator component. And in the properties window set min to 0 and max to 16 or the number of LEDs on your LED ring. Connect random clock generator 1 pin out to clock multi source 1 pin in and connect clock multi source 1 pin 0 to random color 1 pin clock and connect clock multi source 1 pin 1 to random integer generator 1 pin clock. Now connect random color 1 pin out to NeoPixels 1 
pin color and connect random integer generator 1, pin out to NeoPixels 1, pin index and connect NeoPixels 1, pin out to Arduino board digital pin 6. At the bottom click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right ported board and click compile build and upload button.